Hi everyone, it's Jit Marak and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about some books that I would like to reread. Now, I am not a huge rereader. I can probably count on my hand how many books I've reread in my lifetime. Some of the books that I have on this list are books that I read when I was younger that I would like to reread because I want to find out if I still like them if I still think they're good. Other ones are new ones that are favorites of mine that I just I want to reread them and revisit them. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. The first book I have is The Host by Stephanie Mayer who is the writer of Twilight. This is her standalone novel that I read right after I read Twilight. I think I wrote down the date. This is here December 3rd of 2009. I don't know if that's when I bought the book or if that's when I read it, but I've had this book for a really long time. So if you didn't know, this is a... It deals with aliens invading Earth, except these are good aliens. They're supposed to be peaceful and honest, and they genuinely believe that humans destroyed the Earth or they were killing the Earth, and so they came here to save it. The thing about these aliens is that they can't survive on their own. They are really, really small, and so they need a host body. So picture that you are living your life, and then somebody just takes you, and they put a tiny little creature in the back of your neck, and bam, you are gone. That is what happens to our main character, Melanie. She becomes the host body of Wanda, or alien character. The thing is, Melanie isn't completely gone. Wanda can still hear her in her head. Melanie is desperate to know what happened to her family and the two of them build this very interesting relationship, which is weird because they are inside the same body, but they are two completely different people. I remember really, really enjoying this book. I think I even thought that it was better than Twilight at the time, which is crazy because I was a pretty big Twilight fan. It's been so long since I read it and I've been wanting to read it for a really long time. It is a pretty big book and I feel like that's part of why I've been putting it off. And also because I keep getting so caught up on all the new releases. But this is one that I would really, really, would really like to revisit and find out if I still love it. The next book I have is one that is very well known and that is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I have all three books. I would like to reread Catching Fire as well and Mockingjay, the entire trilogy. I read these, I think I was in the 8th grade and then ninth grade. So if you don't know what <laughs> The Hunger Games is, um, it is a dystopian and I don't know how to explain it now. Just imagine we're in this country called Panem and it is broken down into 12 different districts. But most of the people in these districts are starving, close to dying, they're oppressed and abused, and it's just a really bad, bad government that they have. Along with that, they have a thing called the Hunger Games, where two different people from each district are chosen to participate in this game, where they all have to fight and kill each other, and if you win, you get to eat and have a home. Again, this is one that I read a really long time ago, and I want to know if I still like it. Plus, there's going to be a new Hunger Game, Hunger Games book that's coming out. I can't remember the name. It's really long. Let me just put it here. It's a prequel and I am looking forward to reading that. And I think that it's a perfect idea for me to finally reread the trilogy. It's time. <laughs> it's time. The next books I have are also a trilogy and it is called... The Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. They are so, so beautiful. This is one of my favorite series ever. can't remember when I read them. I think it was 2017, so it's been two years. These books are part of Cassandra Clare's Shadowhunter Chronicles, which has a lot of books. <laughs> but this is how I started and this is how I began reading her, her books. Hi, I'm filming. So, a phone call. So, as I was saying, this trilogy takes place in the Victorian era. This one follows the character of Tessa Gray, who's supposed to be a normal human girl. She's looking for her brother, and so she travels to London, and ends up being kidnapped by some warlocks. Apparently, 
Tessa has this power that they want that she had no idea she had. Tessa ends up being rescued by- I don't want to hold this anymore. <laughs> Tessa ends up being rescued by the Shadow Hunters from the London Institute, Will and Jem. But now there are a bunch of questions like why does Tessa have this power? What is she? Is she a warlock? Is she a demon? Is she a human slash warlock? Where is her brother and how is he involved? In addition, there's this man who wants to destroy the Shadow Hunters for some reason. So he is our antagonist. I love the premise of this trilogy. I adore I adore these characters and it's one of the reasons why I love this trilogy so much is because I feel so attached to these characters. I love Will and Jem and Tessa. Will and Jem have one of the greatest friendships I have ever seen in literature ever. I'm definitely a, a character person but I feel like this series has a really good plot and then really good character development. And it broke my heart by the end of it which is one of the reasons why I feel like I want to reread it, but at the same time, I do not want to go <laughs> through that pain again. I'm going to, but it's in a beautiful way, okay? It's in a cool way. <laughs> also, The Last Hours is coming out next year, the first book being Chain of Gold, and that trilogy follows the children of these characters. So I am... <laughs> I'm so excited for those books to come out. Okay, the next book that I have I feel so ashamed about. <laughs> Not because of the book itself, but because of something else. So the last book that I would like to reread is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mass. Here's why I am ashamed and embarrassed. I got to page 584, okay? This much left to read to finish it, right? Right? Except that I put it down and then I never picked it up again. See the problem? And I do that all the time, you know? I do it all the time. And part of it was because, like, when I started reading this book, I was like, oh my god, this is so good, I'm so excited. And then it went to like, what is happening in this book? What is happening? And then it was like, oh, I'm almost done with it. I don't want to be done with it. I don't know, I don't, I don't want to know what happens at the end. And so I decided to take a break and put it down and then I never picked it up. So I think it's time for me to finally reread this and actually finish it because I would like to say that I finished this trilogy. I mean like, the first book was good, ACOMF was amazing and it's my favorite. This one is not as good as ACOMF from what I remember, but I still want to finish it. So if you didn't know what A Court of Thorns or Roses is about, um, it is a Beauty and the Beast retelling with fairies and magic and yeah. <laughs> Long story short, yeah. The reason why I just really love the series is because it has so many elements that I like. Magic, romance, cool group of friends. And I think the plot is pretty entertaining to me. <laughs> I know there's going to be more books coming out, so I need to catch up. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, let me know if you love to reread books, if there are any books that you are planning to reread. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> wow, I just broke. I think I just broke. I think you're going to realize now that I am not human. <laughs> okay, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And I will see you guys later. Bye!